My name is Margot Duchamp and I just recently finished my PhD in bioengineering. I did all my studies at EPFL in life sciences for biomedical applications. Today, uh, we realize that currently there are no adequate solutions for a drug screening on cell membrane receptors. Indeed, all these assays are not extremely specific to this problem and hence they require multiple testing, redundant testing, but also that takes multiple hours up to a few days even. So this is extremely tedious and hinders a lot the drug discovery on those cell membrane receptors that are extremely important because they represent today 25% of all the drug targets that are sold today. And so this is why we developed a new method that can easily and very fast identify um, which drugs could be activating or at least useful on specific cell membrane receptors. We have developed a new assay that um, enables to directly target the first steps of the intracellular activation of this receptor. And how is it done is that we can directly uh, isolate the cell membrane of any mammalian cell type, meaning that we can directly work on patient cells too and we can invert, reverse this membrane so that we can have access to the intracellular site. And then we perform this assay in a microfluidic chip, which enables us to be much faster and use much less reagent too. Thanks to microfluidics, we can work with very small volumes and so a small reagent chamber. And this also enables us to be uh, much more precise and much faster because we use uh, less diffusion time. The first iteration of our design was based on a single chamber microfluidic device. However, this is extremely limiting when we want to test different drugs or different drug concentrations. So this is why we are improving this design in order to be a much higher throughput and have an improved multiplexing with multiple chambers simultaneously that could be screened. And this is why we can work afterwards with different drugs or different drug concentrations. So our essay is decomposed on different steps. We first uh, trap beads on which we can isolate cell membranes in an inverted situation. So those are native cell membranes where you have the receptor in its native shape. And then we can directly test the drugs on those membranes to see if they are activated or not by uh, the drug to test. Today, uh, drug discovery and pharmaceutical companies have to rely on model cells which do not properly recapitulate the disease. Indeed, um, those cells are engineered, modified by humans in order to replicate the disease but are very far away from the physiological reality. So this is why with our technology, because we can directly work on any mammalian cell, we can work with patient cells which are much more realistic and represent much better what really happens inside our body. And this enables us to be more confident when going into clinical trials and to have a better success rate after all this uh, long drug development time.